Okay, there's a few things that I want to uh, show you that are going to help you in making your homework. And what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to pixelate this person's face because you're going to be putting your before and after images online. And this person didn't sign up to be uh, a poster child for our class uh, work. So we want to pixelate her face and uh, so it's not a 25 versions of her uh, out there. Um, so, uh, and then what we're going to do is an important step, and that's we're going to learn how to take these very large image files, um, these raw files, and then turn them into um, JPEGs that can be uploaded quickly and easily for your website. Okay, so that's what we're going to learn right now. First, let's start with the pixelation. Um, so, the very first thing, well, actually, before I get into that, oh, shucks, I can't show you that. Uh, let's do this. Before I uh, get into the pixelation, while we still can see her eye, I want to show you that um, when I go command apostrophe, um, what I've done here is I'm using that rule of thirds and uh, putting her eye, You'll as you watch television, keep an eye out for this, People's eye lines are usually right around this uh, line here, 90% of the time. Um, landscapes you might see down towards this bottom one. Uh, so I'm putting her eye right at that kind of intersection for the rule of thirds. Okay, I'm going to take that off. If you forgot how to do the rule of thirds, how to get that, it's command apostrophe, but how to set it up. You go down to guides and grids under preferences, and then here, you make sure you could set this to be 25, 30, whatever you want. 33.33 is going to percent. That's the key thing. Percent um, is going to put the lines the way that we want it for the rule of thirds. Um, just make sure you change this to percent and say OK to that. Then when you bring these up, it should hit right there. And you can move uh, this person. Um, with those in mind, you've cleaned up some of the darks here, so you've brought out some of the life in the shirt, and then kind of think about hitting that. You don't want to go too low, so we're seeing the transparency. So just up above from where I have it, okay? And then you hit return on that, and it takes it off of that resizing mode, um, which is the transform mode. So you go transform scale. That's uh, free transform command T is the quick way to bring that up and back, by the way. So I'm going to take off that grid. Now let's learn how to pixelate this. So we go under, uh, uh, first thing we want to do is make a selection. This second one down here, I'm in Photoshop, and usually it defaults to this rectangle. I'm going to click on it and hold and choose elliptical marquee, and you'll see it as a circle. And now we're going to talk all about selecting stuff, um, but I'm going to make a selection over her face that's an oval. Okay. Now if I want to move it a little bit to the right, I'm holding down the space bar and I can kind of move my selection. When I let go of the space bar, I can kind of change the, the ellipse width, the circle width. But you want to have it pretty big so it's covering over her face. I'm going to get it a little bit more this way and I'm going to go a little bit bigger. Okay. And then I'm going to let that go. One other thing I want to do here is um, I want to create what's called a feather. And so think of a feather. It's under, if I go under Select, Modify, down to Feather. And you could put on, let's say, a 50-pixel feather. And what that's going to do is it's, it's saying uh, 50 pixels on either side of this start to gradually go between um, this, the, pardon me, the effect and normal. So what's on the inside, we're going to put a little thing, an effect on the inside of this, and it's going to gradually taper off uh, in its opacity to uh, what's kind of normal here. Okay, so now that we've feathered that selection, what the, the reason why we do that is, is it creates a gradual uh, kind of gradation in the um, in the effect and not so it looks like it's just slapped right on there. It's like a gradient. It's a, a gradation of the effect. So I want to go under filter and we're going to get into all sorts of different kind of um, effects and things like that. But this is one that is important for right now. Pixelate, mosaic, um, there we go. You can choose these to be smaller pixels. 
Um, I like something right around 50. Um, okay, that's nice. You can just even uh, type that in. And then you can do the better like this or better like this. Okay. Um, this, uh, we're just going to go by clicking that preview off and off and say yes. Okay, now you'll see that kind of gradually taper off on the edges. You can maybe even go up to like 100 on that. Um, so now what we're ready to do, so we've blocked out her, we're protecting her identity, and um, I'm going to, I want to make a super small version of this. Now, if you want, if you go under image size, you'll see that this um, is a pretty big file, the pixel dimensions. It's creating, it's a file that's almost six megabytes, and what we want to do is, uh, we, let's say we want to get this under half a meg, so we're going to make it ten times smaller, let's say. Um, we can hit cancel here, and this is one way to do it. We're going to get into save for web quite a bit later in the semester. Um, it's really useful for when we're doing all sorts of stuff like logos, like a Twitter logo or something like that, and making something transparent and blah, blah, blah. Um, save for web, and it's a really useful um, interface. The key thing that might throw you off here is that where the hell is everything? Because we're at 100% and it's a small window, you want to, you can dial that down to something so you can start to see the full thing. Okay, and at what, now that we're here and we can actually see what we're doing, let's um, uh, take a look at, so now what we're doing is we're taking it from a raw file to a JPEG, and JPEG is a type of compression um, that uses an algorithm, kind of fools the eye, it, it, it knows what the eye doesn't really look at closely and um, it can uh, simulate that but remove tons of information so it's a really good uh, compression choice for images which is what this is not so good for blocks of text and um, chunky blocks of graphic art uh, so what you can do here is choose JPEG then uh, you can choose your quality range here we can go high and this is where it's telling us what the size is. So we can go up to 500K. So let's go um, using our quality slider here and let it go. Sometimes when you do this, it take, there's like a, a, a delay. So 463 is under 500. Let's go with that and return. So we have JPEG at high quality, optimized, 78 uh, in the quality section. Now what we're going to do is, don't worry about this for now, we're just going to say save. And this is where you can, um, you want to title this. I would, if I was you guys, save this into your documents, IDM class 2. I'm going to put it on my desktop just because um, I have a different setup. And I'm going to say uh, um, IDM JPEGs for web. class 2, I mean homework 2, something like that. You can do whatever you want. Um, but let's call it a portrait and or pixel portrait, something like that. And uh, then we can save it. And so we're putting this into the desktop in this folder and then you should also save your Photoshop um, document uh, very you know, large. If you want to do like a before, um, pixelate the one, the full one without the uh, without the cropping and all that, and that'll be your before and after image. Okay, so that's how you um, now have a. You've gone from six megabyte file that's going to take you a half hour to load up onto your website, maybe not that long, uh, to a, a one that's going to go much more quickly.